Hello and welcome back to another Ray Contour video and in today's video I will be going over why you need to stop using the Enforcer's Axe in Deepwoken. But before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe because only about 10% of the people watching this video are actually subscribed. And that would really help me a lot if you were to subscribe and click the little bell. Because if you click that bell, apparently legend says you'll get a legendary blessed bell in Deepwoken? No way! Anyway, let's get into the video. So, the Enforcer's Axe is overrated. Highly overrated. I'm not saying you should drop your enchanted Enforcer's Axe for a one-star Pale Morning, but you should definitely use Pale Morning over an equal star ranking Enforcer's Axe. Unless it's like, wait. The reason why I think this is because of a few reasons. First of all, blunt damage is way better than slash damage. Most endgame armors have slash resistance. Having blunt damage bypasses this. If someone has 20% slash resistance, and you use the Enforcer's Act, which is slightly higher than Pale Morning in damage, well, you'll be doing slightly less damage than Pale Morning. Not only that, but lots of enemies also have slash resistance. Owls, golems, mechs, and all knights have slash resistance, which makes blunt damage way more effective when fighting them. And did I forget to mention, physical and slash resistance stack? So if someone's got a 20% slash resistance buff and a 15% physical resistance buff, you're doing 35% less damage with the Enforcer's Axe, as opposed to the potential 15% less damage that you'd be doing with Pale Morning. Second of all is stuns. All blunt weapons stun your opponent for longer. This is known. The Enforcer's Axe has average stun on hits and M2s, which really isn't that much. But the Pale Morning stuns have a chance to proc even if your critical hits are parried, which can potentially let you get a free hit or mantra in, even if they parry you, which is just really useful. And also the M2 on the Pale Morning is way faster, and it does more damage than the M2 critical of the Enforcer's Axe. Also, I would like to point out the swing speed on the Enforcer's Axe is is only 0.05 times slower than Pale Morning swing speed. However, that's actually quite a bit because that's the difference in time between swings, which is about 50 milliseconds. And the only benefit is slightly more damage. However, this isn't worth the trade-off since you'll be hitting less swings, so your DPS on average is going to be slightly lower. Also, the range is slightly lower, meaning certain weapons like katanas and spears can actually entirely outrange you with the Enforcer's Axe, which a lot of better players will utilize against you. My final point in this video is that the Enforcer's Axe is edgy, and I don't like edgy things. If you use the Enforcer's Axe, you're a cringe, and probably a 14-year-old boosted shadow user who started with lightning. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe. This was a shorter video because I really don't have too much content to make on for Deepwoken. I might drop a gameplay video, maybe item selling, maybe something else. If you guys like Minecraft, you guys like Deepwoken, Boblox, subscribe. This is Cabbage Lord. Bye.